Putin said, we don't have to have this war, we can end it. Zelensky, on the other side, was like, we don't have to have this war, we can end it. But he was under the advisement of the U.S. federal government. Mm -hmm. The U.S. federal government said, you can't cave this quickly, you can't stop this now. Mm -hmm. There's, we can give you a bunch of money, we can help you fight this war, we can turn you into like a beacon of hope for the rest of the world. In this spring offensive, in August, we're gonna like have you take back most of Ukraine. Well, all of that then played out. Senior analysts at MI6 and CIA and beyond were all like, this is gonna last more than four or six weeks. Well, then there was a twist, and then there was another twist, and then there was yet another twist, and then there was a spring offensive that was fully funded by the West that nobody saw coming, that, that was a successful feint in the North and the South and blah, blah, blah. And Ukraine came back and took back, I think it was like 5% of the land that, that mm. Russia had taken. In the face of that long-term conflict, Zelensky went back to his US advisors again and he was like are you guys going to be there with me forever we'll back you as long as as long as possible under these conditions you let us use our weapons and you let us be this and you let us dictate that and you you do what we tell you to do and then at that point nato was like we don't want to do this anymore this is kind of up. It's affecting Germany's winter. It's affecting yeah. everybody's energy aspects. It's it's messing with their yeah. economies. 